So I've been creating designs with AI art since January of 2024. I've been doing one every single day. So I wanted to share with you what I've learned so far. These are gonna be the pros and cons of using AI art for print on demand. And if you haven't used AI art yet or just started, you're gonna to wanna to learn all of these things before getting into it. I think that this will help you decide whether you wanna use AI art or not. So in this video, there'll be 10 pros and cons, five cons and five pros. I'm gonna start with the cons first and then end on a good note with the pros. So the first con is speed. So when you think of AI, you think, I wanna use AI for speed because it's a lot faster, but it's not as fast as you might think. I would guess if you haven't used AI for print on demand yet, you would think that all you have to do is create a good prompt, it will create a design for your graphic for you in seconds, and then you can just take that and put it on print on demand products, and that is not true. Uh, first of all, we're gonna talk about some of the limitations in the con side, and some of them are, it's not big enough, it doesn't have a transparent background and usually takes a lot more time to create the right kind of graphic. Even though it comes up with a graphic really quickly, not every single graphic is something that you may be able to use just because it's the quality is not there or it didn't uh, do something that you actually wanted uh, it to do to begin with. So most of the cons on this list is gonna be related right back to the time issue. And the point being that AI doesn't create something right away that you can use for print on demand. There's gonna take, there's a lot more steps involved in using an AI art, at least right now, uh, for print on demand. So con number two is size. We kind of touched on that in the first one because when you actually print out or get a graphic from uh, AI art, it's usually 1024 by 1024 pixels. And most print on demand sites for t-shirts and other things, uh, Amazon size for t-shirts, by the way, is 4,500 by 5,400. That used to be the size that it had to be, but it's gonna have to be around that size. So think of uh, 4,500 or 5,000 pixels. Uh, T Public wants it to be 5,000 by 5,500. Redbubble wants to be around that size as well. So. Um, because it's only 1024 and not in the 4,000, 5,000 range, you're gonna have to upscale it. Uh, and sometimes you can do that, like Midjourney does have a four times upscale, which would be around 4,000. But uh, for the most part, you're gonna have to download that AI art, go to something like dgb.lol or other upscaling apps out there and put it in there so that it can upscale it, which will give it more pixels and actually be more of the size that you want. Now this is just touching on the size, you will still need to have a transparent background and uh, delete the white background or the black background or whatever background you don't want to show up on, the, on your t-shirt or on your products. So that's another issue, not, uh, not just size, but also the background. And con number three is kind of related to that and that is quality. So uh, not only is it might be too small, but a lot of times AI art is very fuzzy or it messes up text or it messes up hands, not so much anymore, but in the beginning it did. And so it doesn't give you the exact quality that you might expect from something like uh, vector-based art or art from apps or stock photography places like uh, Creative Fabrica or Vexels where it's all nice and drawn nice and a graphic designer did it and all the lines are nice and crisp and clean. AI art a lot of times don't have the nice crisp edges on everything. There may be some part of it or most part of it, but when you look deeper, you're gonna see some artifacts um, because it's trying to put together all kinds of art. And because of that, you're gonna see where it's kind of stitching it together and it's not crisp and clean. So the quality, uh, not only the size, but the quality of the art itself uh, may not be something that you wanna use for print on demand. And lastly is the cost. So there's some free AI art places out there and there's some that will let you do it for free for, for a few posts or a few tokens, um, but not every AI art uh, app is free. Mid Journey costs, uh, ChatGPT, what I'm using with StickerWiz costs $20 a month and uh, most really good AI apps 
are paid to play or subscription base and, and it's usually about twenty dollars a month so it's not free a lot of these are not free and the free ones usually don't do as good or doesn't come up with graphics as well as some of the paid ones and you're gonna have to pay for better quality AI art now in the beginning everyone was testing it out and you got free this and free that but as AI art is starting to get better and better the subscriptions are also coming out and so these better AI art apps uh, like Midjourney, Leonardo, Ideogram, ChatGPT, they all have subscriptions now that uh, you'll have to pay monthly to get the kind of quality that you may want to use for print on demand. So those were the five cons and after hearing those you may not want to use AI art at all because there are a bunch of cons out there that may not make it as simple as you might think for AI art with print on demand. But here's my attempt at the pros of using AI art. So the first I'm going to say is speed. I know I said speed is a con, but speed can also be a pro because you can actually, like I said, create something really quick. So generating something, uh, even though it might not be the best thing or might not be the thing that you want, you can do it over and over and over again really quickly if you have a subscription, of course, and come up with 10, 20, uh, different AI art and one of those will be really good so that's what I do I like to generate multiple ones and then choose from the the multiple ones that it made choose the best one and get it is it still faster than creating your own art or even finding something on a graphic design app the second pro I think with AI art is uniqueness so with AI art, you can actually create something that has never been done. If you're a creative person or can think out of the box or think creatively, you can actually create designs and graphics that is not out there already. One of the things about using apps that have graphics in them like Creative Fabrica or Creative Market or Kiddo or Canva is that everyone has access to those uh, graphics and that means those are only graphics that other people have thought of but you may have searched before and looked for something and could not find it and that is the power of AI whatever you think of uh, and you can't find in graphics uh, in any of those apps you can create a prompt for AI to make it for you and no one else will have it so that's a good way for your designs to stand out and be something super original and unique another pro is the different styles that ai can do so uh, if you ever draw on yourself you probably only can do your own style or maybe try and copy another style or learn another style but with ai art you can have access to multiple styles so it can do a tattoo style it can do a kawaii style it can do vintage illustration and so on and so on so if you want a certain style and looking for a certain style that you yourself can't draw or have a hard time finding in, uh, in with graphics then AI art can be a huge win because it can create designs um, in different styles that you may have a hard time uh, doing yourself or finding out there in the wild so I think this is a big plus for AI art is that you can create very unique styles that uh, may be hard doing anywhere else the fourth pro is that AI art is uh, now in so many apps so if you already have Kittle for example you have AI with Kittle if you already are paying for Creative Fabrica you have AI in Creative Fabrica and so on so Adobe has one Canva has AI art and they just bought Leonardo so they're gonna have even more AI stuff so everything's just getting uh, infiltrated with AI art so whatever graphic app you're using if it doesn't have AI art right now I think in three to five years it will have AI art attached with it because AI art is just filling every space of the graphic community now whether you want to use it or not that's another thing but it's gonna be there and it's gonna keep getting better and better so that's one of the benefits of uh, using AI art is you may already have it have access to it and can use it right now so the final pro for AI art is that we are just getting started we're in the early stages of AI and 
just like the internet boom in the 2000s, uh, we're having a, a AI boom, the AI of vacation of everything, right? Like I said, it's in Kiddo, it's in Canva, it's in going to be in everything. And now is the time to start learning AI. Those who want the internet boom are those who uh, learned and went with it and got in early and it is still early with AI art. So you can get in here and learn how to write a good prompt and learn how, how everything works before everyone else. And I think that would be a huge advantage to you uh, because I don't believe AI is going anywhere. In fact, it's just going to keep getting bigger and better and better. And so now's the time to get into AI on the ground floor in the early stages so that you can learn and just add this to your skill set and have a good skill that will be used uh, in the future. So there you go. Those are my pros and cons uh, with AI art. What did you think? Let me know in the comments. Have you used AI art? Uh, are these pros and cons that you would think of? Are there any that I missed in here? Let me know that in the comments. Uh, I'm doing AI art for this whole year as a uh, practice for me so that I can learn it. So I'm doing that with Design with Detour. If you want to see my latest AI art video, I'll put that up right here so you can see how I'm using AI art for print on demand and making t-shirts and other products. Thanks again for watching and as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.